A mock-up that misses the mark? Not on my watch. Hi, I'm brand designer Izzy Poirier and today we're refining Sweet Cheeks mock-ups using Photoshop Generative Fill. The goal is to ensure that every mock-up in their style guides resonates with their product and adds a layer of authenticity to their brand presentation. Mock-ups are a powerful tool to help clients visualize their brand in the real world but they need to be accurate. For example, this mock-up features an open-faced sandwich, but Sweet Cheeks is a gluten-free kitchen. To align the mock-up with Sweet Cheeks offering, we need to make some changes. Let's turn this sandwich into brownies, one of their signature treats. First, let's look at this gorgeous mock-up by Mockstar. It features wax paper, which we can alter and is perfect for showcasing the brand application we want to present to Sweet Cheeks. Let's start by adding our pattern design to the wax paper. Pro tip, I like to check the dimensions of the editable area first. I designed the pattern in Illustrator on an artboard set to these exact dimensions. For me, it's easier to work this way because all the design elements are in vector, giving me more creative freedom. Once the pattern is complete, I place link it into the editable layer in Photoshop. This ensures the design is the perfect size. Save it and voila, everything fits seamlessly. Next, we need to replace the sandwich in the mock-up with something that better aligns with Sweet Cheeks offering. I use the pen tool to isolate the sandwich and transform it into an editable area. Precision is key here and don't forget to include the shadows. Using Generative Fill, I'll prompt Photoshop with pile or stack of chocolate brownies and let it work its magic. This may take a few tries, but that's okay. Here's an important step. The generated brownies are smaller than the original sandwich in the mock-up. To fix this, we'll resize the brownies so they cover the entire area where the sandwich was. After resizing, I'll clean up the edges by erasing the extra wax paper that Generated Fill added. It's crucial to ensure the pattern on the wax paper remains intact, so the design shows seamlessly. Since erasing the edges also removes the shadows around the brownies, I'll need to regenerate shadows to make the mock-up more cohesive. I'll use the pen tool again to carefully select areas around the brownies and prompt Photoshop to generate new shadows. This process ensures the brownies look realistic and blend perfectly into the mock-up. It creates a polished and accurate visual for Sweet Cheek style guide showing how their branding shines in the real world application. Now let's move on to another mock-up also by Mockstar. This one features a croissant and let's turn it into a chocolate chip cookie instead. Again, I'll use the pen tool to select the croissant and its shadow. Then I'll prompt Photoshop with big chocolate chip cookie poking out of a bag to ensure we get the right proportions and positioning. Being specific in the prompt is key here. Just saying chocolate chip cookie might generate a small cookie that doesn't fit the mock-up. The generated cookie had a bite taken out of it, which I actually like because it adds a playful touch. To make it feel seamless, we'll need to add a shadow. This time, instead of generating shadows, I'll use Photoshop drop shadow effect. After applying the shadow, I'll separate it into its own layer. You can do this by right-clicking the layer and choosing create layer. This allows me to move the shadow exactly where I want it and erase any part of the shadow that's overcasting onto the bag. This step ensures the mock-up looks clean and professional. Finally, since the mock-up is in portrait size and I need it to fit into the landscape style guide layout, I'll extend the background. Using generated fill, I'll expand the edges of the image without adding any specific prompt. Photoshop will understand what we're trying to do and generate a cohesive background extension. And just like that, we have a mock-up that's visually polished and perfectly aligned with Sweet Cheeks products offerings. This technique can be applied to any mock-ups that don't fully match the brand, making the style guide even more comprehensive for Sweet Cheeks owners. And this is how you can refine your mock-ups using Photoshop Generative Fill. Be sure to download the free mock-up template below and be sure to subscribe to the Adobe Live channel. Stay tuned for the next episode and thanks for watching.